Good morning. May God's grace, peace, and love be with each of us. Today we will talk about changes in our habits. In Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6 we read, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. There is a message regarding health reform to be taken into every church. There is a work to be done in every school. Neither principal nor teacher should be entrusted with the education of the youth until they have a practical knowledge of this subject. Some have felt a liberty to criticize and question, to find faults with health reform principles, of which they knew little by experience. They should stand shoulder to shoulder, heart to heart with those who are working in right lines. The subject of health reform has been presented in churches, but the light has not been heartily received. The selfish, health-destroying indulgences of men and women have counteracted the influence of the message. A message that is to prepare a people for the great day of God. If the churches expect strength, they must live the truth which God has given them. If the members of our church disregard the light on this subject, they will reap the sure result in both spiritual and physical degeneracy and the influence of this older church members will leaven those newly come to the faith. Sad is in this. The Lord does not now work to bring many souls into the truth because of the church members who have never been converted and those who were once converted but who have backslidden. What influence would this unconsecrated members have on new converts? This is a serious question. Let us all examine their own practice to see if they are not indulging in that which is a positive injury to them. Let them dispense with every unhealthful gratification in eating and drinking. Some go to distant countries to seek a better climate. But wherever they may be, their stomach creates for them a malarious atmosphere. They bring upon themselves suffering that no one can alleviate. Let them bring their daily practice into harmony with the nature's law, and by doing as well as believing, an atmosphere may be created about both the soul and the body that will bring a savor of life unto life. So, if we only trusted in our Lord, He would help us to understand how important it is to live a holy life. We would understand how important it is to have health, to care for our physical and mental and to perfect our education here, having temperance in all areas of our life. All this preparation is important, so we will have our inheritance, so we will have eternal life. We should examine ourselves. Are there any areas where we are indulging in unhealthful habits? Are we being intemperate in any areas of our life? Maybe our work, maybe our eating, or any other thing that is disqualifying us for heaven, and to the preaching of the gospel. May God help us to see our true state and to overcome by His grace. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, have a blessed day.